Hey, it's Daryl Sims and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you eight Paul Gilbert blues style licks from an artist works video that he did with Nathan East. There's no doubt that when you hear the name Paul Gilbert, you might be slightly nervous because Paul is well known for his very advanced, quick, technical and tasteful playing. However, this blues jam in particular and the licks that I'm gonna show you in this video are very steady going, they're very tasteful and beautiful, but they are definitely very achievable for the progressing intermediate player. If however you find you want a little bit of an extra push with this and you wanna download the tabs for this entire song, I've transcribed the first solo, the last solo, the best ones, and then the highlights from the second solo, which can all be found on my Patreon page, which is linked in the description below. So that's enough chit chat from me. Let's get straight to the video. So the first lick is very simple. It's based off of the second position of your minor pentatonic scale, and it sounds like this. So we're bending that 12 up to the major third, which sounds beautiful to begin with, and then finishing on that 10th fret, which is our root note. The second lick leads nicely on from the first one. It sounds like this played slowly. So we get a selection of some nice minor thirds to major thirds there. Our first one is from the 13 to the 14. As we descend that sort of arpeggio shape there. And then later on we bend that 10 into the 11 and then finish on the hammer on there. Again, onto that major third. This next lick has got some real nice phrasing. Don't forget to be raking a lot of this, by the way, just to give it a bit more attitude. So played slowly, we'll have. So once again, we have a lot of emotive bends in this one, bending up from that 13 to the 14, which is our minor to major to begin with. And then later on, towards the end, Paul highlights that five chord by playing this phrase at the very end. And going from 17 to 18 there, that 18 is the major third of the fifth chord, which wouldn't usually work over any of the other chords, but Paul really likes to highlight that it's the fifth by playing this major third over that fifth chord. Now this next lick has heaps of emotive bends in there. Let me play it real slow for you to begin with and then I'll explain what's going on. So we start off with a pre-bend before the first bar. So that's the first section and then we have a similar thing on the four here. So we start that whole thing off with a full bend into a half bend, full, half, full, half, and a series of repetitions of that. And then when we hit the four, we have half bend to no bend and another series of repetitions there before moving back up to this region. And then this slide here, 
brings us back into that one chord and then we finish on this phrase. Nice and easy. This next lick here is pretty much just the typical minor pentatonic shape lick with some targeted notes towards the end. So let me play this one slow for you. We're gonna start off with a rake. And then. And then we are on the five chord here and we go. Target in that major third of the five, and then we finish with. And notice that last note, I gave it a real good hit. These fingers are muting the other strings, whilst the third finger is taking control there, so I can just give it a nice hit with the right hand, and I don't have to worry about any of the other notes. Now this next lick is probably my favorite of the bunch. It's quite quick towards the end with some of the tapping stuff, so I'll attempt to play it real slow for you. It sounds a bit like this. And then we're on to the four chord. And there you have it. It's best to try and feel this one and interpret it yourself over with the timing because after all, remember this is an improvisational piece and it's best for you to rather take inspiration from this and ideas from this rather than try to do exactly what Paul is doing. Let's move on to the next lick. This next lick comes straight after the previous one. We have. And then this next bit's quite cool. We have a simple repetition of this phrase. And then to finish that. And that last slide leads us into our four chord. Before that, we were on our one chord and we have some very interesting sort of chromatic phrases up here. Before that last slide up into the four chord. This last phrase is probably my favorite in terms of phrasing and attitude. Paul does a great job of really highlighting that five chord. So listen carefully for that key major third note as I go along this slowly. So we start off on bar eight, we're about halfway through. This is the one chord leading into the five chord, which is bar nine. Check this out, we have this pentatonic phrase. And this note is the highlight of that five chord. Again, that's your major third. After highlighting that note, we have that phrase there, very cool. So we're gonna need to use our little finger because it's quite a stretch from 16 to 20 there. So we're gonna bend that little finger note, pull off to the 16, and then just a simple pull off on the G string there, 19 to 17, and then 18 in the middle, which again is your major third. And we do that a few times. Before it resolves back into the four chord where he plays just this sort of minor pentatonic phrase over the course of three octaves. 
And I'm not going to give you the exact lick in this video, I just want you to play with that one and kind of just play with some hammer-ons and pull-offs to kind of get this kind of thing. That sort of Paul Gilbert vibe there across the three octaves. It's just something for you to have fun with there at the end. All right, so those are the eight licks that I want to share with you. I hope you manage to keep up with some of these and that you might be able to include some of them in your own playing or at least find some inspiration from some of the phrasing ideas within some of these licks. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you'd like to download a tab for this piece, then check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. And if you have any suggestions on who you'd like to see in future lick videos, then make sure you let me know in the comments section. So that's enough from me for today. Until next time, I will see you in the next video.